Movie jukeboxes are graphical menu programs that run on the Popcorn Hour network media tank. These menus allow us to easily organize, select, and play on our television any of the movies in our media collection that we either have stored on an internal hard drive of the Popcorn Hour or on a storage location that's available on our home network. There are currently about a dozen or so of these movie jukebox programs, all providing a graphical user interface, yet each one has a different look and feel. These videos will demonstrate some of the more popular movie jukeboxes so that you can make a better decision as to which one is best suited for you and your family to use. The first jukebox that we're going to look at is called Movie Flow. This version is called Slick. As you can see, there are five movies displayed at once on the movie index screen. The selected movie is larger and highlighted in the center. Now, using the direction pad on the remote, pressing the right arrow will move one movie to the right, and pressing the left arrow will move one movie to the left. Using these buttons, we can sequence through all of our movies. If we want to move faster through our collection, we can press the up arrow button, which will move five movies to the right. Or, if we press the down arrow button, we will move five movies to the left. Another way we can locate a movie is either by genre or alphabetically by the first letter of the movie's title. Pressing the info button on the remote will bring up the genre and alphabet selection menu. If we press the right or left arrow, we can move through the different possible genre selections. Once we found a genre that interests us, press the enter button to select that genre for display on the TV screen. As an example, let's select the crime genre. Once we've pressed enter, all of our movies in the crime genre will be available for selection by using the left and right arrows. Press the info button once more. If we press the up arrow button, we will see the alphabetical selection appear. We now can use the left or right buttons to select movies that begin with a certain letter of the alphabet. Let's select movies that begin with the letter D and press enter on the remote. With Movie Flow, using the direction buttons and the info button on the remote, we can very easily maneuver through our movie collection to find a movie. Now that we found the movie, The Departed, let's press enter to select this movie and see the movie details screen. Looking at the movie details screen, we can see on the left is the movie poster or movie cover image. On the right side are the details associated with this movie. At the top is the name of the movie and release year. Below that is the Internet Movie Database rating. Next is the cast and crew information, followed by the genres associated with this movie, the running time of the movie, and lastly, the MPAA rating. Below that is the movie plot. Now, along the bottom are two or three icons. On the left is the movie play button, then the trailer play button, if available, and then on the right is the return to index page button. Right now the return button is highlighted. So, using our remote, let's press the left arrow button so that the trailer play icon is highlighted. If we were to press the enter on our remote, the popcorn hour would play the trailer for this movie on our TV. Press the left arrow once more so that the movie play icon is highlighted.
If we were to press the enter button on our remote now, the popcorn hour will play the movie for us. If we press the left arrow one more time, the details page will show us an alternate image for the movie's poster, if there is one. Pressing the right button returns the original image, and now our movie play icon is highlighted once more. For even more information about this movie, press the info button on the remote. A pop-up appears showing us cast photos and bios, as well as details about the movie file itself. This is extremely convenient to have one button access to this information. Now press the info button once more to bring us back to the movie details page. From this point, we can either play the trailer, play the movie, or return to the movie index page. Let's press the return button on our remote to bring us back to the movie index page. Now, let's find Nurse Jackie and see what the details page looks like for a TV series. Looking at the details page for Nurse Jackie, we can see that there are just a few differences here. Now, the Play Movie button is replaced by some numbers corresponding to the TV episode number. Also, the Movie Plot area is replaced with the episode plot information. On the left is a video image pertaining to the particular episode number that's highlighted. As we press the right arrow button on the remote, we sequence through all of the episodes for this TV series. If we want to play a particular episode, all we have to do is highlight the episode number and press enter on the remote. Pressing return takes us back to the movie index. There you have it, a nice demo of the Slick Robots version of the MovieFlow program. I think you'll agree that MovieFlow is a very pleasing uh, to the eye and is so simple to use that everyone in the family will have no problems using it. One other version of MovieFlow that I'm going to show you is called FanVision. Let me load that version on, on the popcorn and we'll continue. FanVision is an excellent version of MovieFlow to use because now on the index page you see nine movies at once instead of five. Also on the upper half of the screen you see the movie posters for the selected movie plus the fan art for this movie. The remote works the same way here, i.e. we can press the left and right arrows to move one button, one movie to the left or right plus if we press the up or down arrow buttons we'll move nine movies to the left or right instead of five like Slick Robots did. Now let's highlight a movie and press the enter button on the remote. The movie detail screen for fan vision displays the same movie information, but now we also can see the fan art for this movie. The movie and trailer play icons are present, and we also can press the info button for the cast bios and file information for this movie. Now let's go see what the series detail page looks like. Let's go find Nurse Jackie. Again, we have the fan art present plus all of the episode information. To access each episode, we can either press one of the number buttons on the remote or press the down arrow button for episode access. Pressing it again goes through each episode. We also have access to the cast bios by pressing the info button here as well. We've now seen how the MovieFlow jukebox works on the Popcorn Hour. 
there are also four or five more versions of this program that you can use as well. Please see the website, www.networkedmediatank.com, in the other jukebox category for more information about this great little jukebox program called Movie Flow. In the next part of our demo series, we'll take a look at my little movie jukebox. Thanks again, folks.